Hey there pressure washer people, today we're going to be going over the different types of pressure washer pumps. Now when we're looking at pressure washer pumps, there's really only three types that you're going to run into. First is the wobble, second is the axial cam, and third is the triplex plunger pump. First up is going to be the wobble plate pump. This is an entry level pump that uses a wobble plate connected to the drive shaft to push pistons back and forth creating suction and then pushing the water out. There's a large spring for each piston to allow the wobble plate to push against them. This causes the pump to be around 70% efficient because it has to push against the water and the springs. Wobble pumps aren't really economically repaired as they have a lot of different small parts and it's tough to get into the places where they're sealed and shut before leaving the factory. Their lifespan is pretty solid. It's around 200 to 400 hours, which is about three hours a week for two to three years. These pumps are used in a lot of pressure washers that are below 2,500 PSI and have low flow rates of less than two gallons per minute. Some of the pros of these pumps are the fact that there's no seals moving back and forth with the piston, they're self-priming, they can run dry, and they can produce high pressures. Some of the cons, there's a lot of moving parts inside these. They don't have a lot of flow you can't really cheaply replace them, and it's not as efficient as other styles of pumps. Next up is the swash plate pump or the axle cam. Um, you're gonna find this pump on a lot of your regular gas powered at home use pressure washers. Pretty much anything that's under 3,500 PSI. These pumps work really similarly to the wobble plate, except in reverse. So in the wobble plate, you have the plate spinning around, pushing on the pistons. With this, the pistons spin around because they're connected to the drive shaft and they get pushed into the plate. And that allows for the system to use larger bearings and have a larger oil reservoir, which helps increase its lifespan. And at the same time, you can adjust the angle of the plate to adjust the pressure that's coming out of your system. So some of the pros of the system are the fact that it's small, it's light, and it's compact. And you can adjust the flow by adjusting the swash plate angle. It's also self-priming, and it has a longer lifespan and way more efficient than a wobble pump. Now, some of the cons of this are the fact that it runs pretty much at whatever your engine speed is set at. So it's going to be running pretty high, pretty high speed. And it can't be cooled down as easily as the triplex pumps that we're going to be talking about next. Since the cylinders are constantly moving. The cylinder seal um, with these actually moves with the piston head with each stroke. So those do wear down over time. And the rotating mass of all the pistons can cause a lot of vibration if it's not properly balanced. Now last but certainly not least, we're going to talk about triplex plunger pumps. These are professional level pump. These are professional level pumps. They use these pumps because it allows for a very high pressure and can run for thousands of hours before needing any maintenance. Instead of like the swash plates or the wobble plates, these use pistons that are similar to the way your car engine runs. So think crankshaft with connecting rods to drive the piston action. This sucks water in and pushes it out with each stroke. They're almost 90% efficient and they run a whole lot cooler since they run at a lot less RPM than the engine that is actually powering them. In a triplex system, they use three pistons on the plunger pump and the piston stroke at 120 degrees apart from each other to offer a smooth flow over the entire revolution of the crankshaft. Their lifespan is basically limited only by how well you maintain them. Um, easy to access pump heads allows, to re allows you ease of replacing valves, making the repair and maintenance super economical. And it'll last about 10 times longer than the lifespan of a traditional axial pump. Now these are going to be used in pressure washers that are way over 3000 PSI. Um, that's usually where they start at. And the pros in this are they are very efficient. The stationary seals means that the lifespan's increased they're less prone to leaks and they can handle much higher pressures and the lower operating speeds and the lower operating speeds allow it to run cool and increase its operating life. 
The only downside to these are pumps that use triplex plunger pumps are super expensive because these are usually your professional level commercial grade pumps that are going to use these. And it's a bit overkill for just home usage. But if you want the best pump you can get, get one with a triplex plunger pump. I hope this video answered a lot of your questions about the different types of pumps that are used on pressure washers. If you like the content, please send us a like, press that thumbs up button, and subscribe to our channel. If you want more information, you can always check us out at PressureWasher.com.